So I've been using this technique for a long time in my life, and it's actually helped me a lot with uh, everything from jobs to relationships to friendships to cars to mechanics to really anything. You can apply it to anything. And it's this. You get to choose who you dance with. And I don't care. You get the choice every single day of your life. It is literally your choice in people and with things and situations. You get to choose who you dance with in life. Now, if that's even the least bit kind of interesting to you, stick around. There's more to it. I'm Michael Cole, and welcome to my world. I will tell you truthfully, this whole technique has saved me from more headaches, bad situations, bad friendships, bad relationships, all of this stuff than anything I've ever done in my life. It uh, has been that significant. And I've gotten it to the point now that it's kind of baked into my head already, so I don't have to consciously think about it. But uh, it all came about when I found myself in a lot of bad situations. And like I'm sure all of us get into these, right? And you sit there in the middle of it and you kind of figure, how did I get here, right? Well, you end up realizing that you chose to be there. You chose this situation and you do it every time. And I had to figure out a way out of this, how to stop it, right? And uh, I ended up figuring it out using this one thing called slam dancing. Now, slam dancing, in case you're not familiar with what that is, uh, it's actually the same as moshing. And it's the rushing up towards a stage of a concert or in a club, whatever it is, and everybody's just like full of energy and they're just smacking and smashing into each other. And uh, it all started, at least for me, back in the early 80s is where I first kind of like saw that for the first time. And I want to say it was probably the Sex Pistols or something like that. But you would see people just rush up to the stage and they, you know, did photos, videos, all this stuff of just like people just mashing into each other. Right. And they were having a great time. Uh, I would not. I, that just wasn't something that I wanna, would want to opt into. And uh, it's kind of funny at the time because I was just didn't quite get it. It was okay. It was cool. They could do whatever they want, but it wasn't exactly for me. Uh, so, But being the curious person, I always kind of was wondering, why would somebody opt into that? You know, I just never kind of got that, but they did. So, you know, again, it just kind of like that concept settled into my brain and kind of like always working back there going, why would they want to do that, right? Welcome to the inside of my brain. It just is full of stuff like that. And um, so then, I don't know, probably a couple of years later, and uh, to be honest, I can't remember the exact circumstance of how this whole technique kind of came together, but I'm pretty certain it was around this one job that I had at the time. And uh it was not a pleasant place to work. It was not a, a lot of great people to work with or anything. It was just really bad. And uh, one of the things I did was pretty, pretty good. I ended up, I kind of like stopped at one point and I pulled myself out of the whole circumstances, right? As I was thinking about this and I stopped being involved in the anger and all of this stuff and frustration on my part. And when I finally came up above that and started looking at everything, I started looking at the, the people and the job and everything, and I started realizing, oh, that's just who they are. This is just how they operate in life. This is what's going to continue happening. And, and that's when the whole thing of slam dancing popped in, because it was exactly like that. I mean, they were like that. I mean, just constantly banging into each other and all of this. And I go, oh, uh... I don't want to opt into that. That's my choice to be here, but it's also my choice to not be here. And uh, I, I, I equated it back to the dancing, and it was kind of like at the time I realized, oh, I like to waltz, right? So I like to just, you know, one, two, three, one, two, three, very easy, rhythmic, it's all fun and everything, right? And then I go, but they want to slam dance. So can I imagine myself kind of like with my arms around them just trying to do my thing and they're doing theirs? It's, it's, it would not end well, right? It's not going to happen. So that's where I first came up with the concept. And then it was hilarious because I sat there and I asked myself, well, do I want to continue with this dance? And the answer, of course, was, oh, hell no. 
<laughs> not in a million years. So I quit. Now, I'll bet that you can see exactly how powerful this is, right? You kind of get it to the core of your being and you just go, oh, this makes so much sense. And it did to me too at the time. And it was funny because when I first came up with the technique, this whole concept of it, uh, I ended up, I just applied it to everything in my life. You know, it's like having a, a, a kid with a new toy or a kid with a new hammer. You just want to bang everything with it. But uh, it was cool. I mean, you could sit there and let's say I met a new friend and uh, we're out having a beer or something like that talking. And, you know, immediately you, you kind of, again, you take yourself out of it. You look at the situation, you go, oh, this is kind of cool, right? I mean, you know, let's say I do like waltzing or something like that, but this other person likes the samba, right? And you're kind of going like, well, that's kind of interesting, huh? You're right. That's kind of a little bit different movement, a little bit different rhythm and stuff, but you know what? It sounds kind of fun. And I learned from that, right? And we all need fresh new stuff. So, but you realize it's also not, you know, dissonant. It's not, it's not banging up against you. It's not something that's not going to work in the end. You know, and even like if I, I, I was looking for a mechanic at one time too, I mentioned that earlier on, it's the craziest thing, but you know, I, I go there and you, they're at the dingy, you know, garage and all this kind of stuff like that. And Within a few minutes, you get the concept or I get the concept that it's like, okay, this, this ain't going to work because he's heading in a different direction. And you just easily say, no, thanks. We'll see you later. But I hope you see kind of what really where the power of this whole technique is, because the real power is in that it takes you out of the whole emotional level of the situation right? It takes you out of whether I'm worthy of doing this or getting this or being able to dance the dance that I want to dance. It takes you completely out of that and simply puts you kind of where it belongs, which is as a dance, because that's what life is. Life is a dance. Life is fun. Life is a game. And it should be, you should make those choices every time based on that. Will I have fun doing this? Is this going to be an awesome thing, right? Or am I going to be challenged and learning out of this situation? Or am I not? That's the real true power of this. You get to pull it out to that level. And that suddenly makes decisions very, very easy. So it's your choice. Why don't you try it out this week? Just once. It's all you got to do just once to see if it works. And then if it does... You may be like the kid with the hammer, like I said, you know, just banging on everything. But try it once just to see how it works, how it feels. Whether it's something existing in your life or some particular situation that pops up unexpectedly. Kind of take yourself out of that emotional soup that we usually find ourselves in where we're drowning and all this kind of stuff or having fun. And look at it objectively and think, okay, well, how is this going to turn out? What do they want? What do I want? What's the dance that I want to do? What's the fun in life, right? Because that's, that's all that life is. Life really is like a dance. And you get to choose to dance it any way that you want. That's your power. That's your choice. You opt into everything that you do. And you get to choose the dance that you want to dance, how you want to live this. And if the other person or thing or whatever is not into doing it the way you want, no harm, no foul. They're not wrong. They're not bad or anything else like that. Remember, you've popped out of the emotion. You're up in this place where you can look at it and you go, I just don't want to do that. Or, oh my God, I think this is going to be the funnest thing in my life. Because that's the way life should be. It should be fun every day, every moment, every day, every week, your entire life. And you get to choose that by choosing who you dance with. So like it if you want to like, subscribe if you want to subscribe, but in the end, try it just once this week. No, try it for the rest of your life. Choose who you dance with. And may your dance and may your life be wonderful. Love you.